Welcome to The Newsworthy, all the day's news in less than 10 minutes. Fast, fair, fun, and on the go. Thanks so much for listening. We've got the latest on Harvey, why tech companies are weighing in on immigration, what to know for Labor Day weekend, and ecstasy may be a new medical treatment. That and much more, all in less than 10 minutes. I'm Erica Mandy. Today is Friday, September 1st. You ready? Let's do this. Okay, so still a lot to know about the Harvey aftermath. The storm itself has let up, and Houston is drying out a bit. Some people even went back home to see what damage was done. Firefighters are going door to door to check for victims. But the New York Times says about 80 miles east of Houston, a city called Beaumont just got worse. The water supply was cut off because of the flooding, and a hospital had to evacuate. A reported 100,000 homes total have been damaged, some with eight feet of water. And get this, Business Insider reports 80% do not have flood insurance, so they will be depending on federal aid. So what's the cost of this whole thing? Reuters says one proposal is $150 billion. Yeah, with a B. That's more than the cost of Hurricane Katrina. Congress will have to give the green light for any of that funding, though. They're back in D.C. starting next week. All right, so what other things to know about Harvey? I've seen death toll numbers at this point ranging from 39 to 44, and some people are still missing. Also, that chemical plant I mentioned yesterday just outside Houston, well, there were a series of explosions there, and more explosions are expected. Why? The plant holds chemicals that need to stay cold, but the power and the backup power for the refrigerators stopped working. So yeah, not good. It also means nasty contaminants in the air. Looking ahead, especially if you're traveling for Labor Day weekend, gas prices are still going up. The Wall Street Journal says they're now at a two-year high. Remember, it's because the flooding shut down a bunch of those refineries in Texas. Also, President Trump will be back in Texas tomorrow. Fox reports he and the First Lady will go to Houston this time. He said he'll also be donating a million dollars. One more thing to be aware of. There's another hurricane that's formed. It's called Irma. It's a few thousand miles off the coast of Miami. The Weather Channel reports it's not clear yet if Irma will actually hit the U.S., but they are watching it and watching it close. We'll see what happens. An update to what was known as the travel ban. People who were stopped from coming into the U.S. earlier this year can now reapply for a U.S. visa. It's part of a court settlement on the issue. Reminder, President Trump stopped travel from several Muslim-majority countries back in January. Hundreds of people were stopped at airports. Well, groups like the ACLU sued over it, and they just settled. By the way, President Trump revised his policy, and there was a new lawsuit. The U.S. Supreme Court will get involved for that one later this year. All right, a few Obama-era rules and laws that may now change. First, Reuters says there could be an announcement as soon as today that the DACA program will end. So what is it? It protects people known as DREAMers, undocumented immigrants who were brought to the U.S. as children. Many of them got legal work permits because of this program. Now the Trump administration may end it, saying a crackdown on illegal immigration will give more jobs back to Americans. Reports say it would basically allow current work permits to expire, so it wouldn't be immediate. But major tech companies are not having it. Think Microsoft, Apple, and Facebook. They all signed a letter to the president hoping to change his mind. They say ending the program will hurt the economy and affect 800,000 young people who have grown up in the U.S. We expect to hear more today. The face of the $20 bill may just stay the same. The Obama administration wanted former slave and abolitionist Harriet Tubman to replace Andrew Jackson on the $20 bill. Jackson was a U.S. president who owned slaves. But the current Treasury secretary told CNBC it's not a priority and the office is more focused on stopping counterfeiters. All right, one more. You may see fewer advertisements for Obamacare, a.k.a. the Affordable Care Act. CNN Money says funding for promoting and advertising the health insurance program just got cut by 90 percent. OK, let's take a break from all the politics and talk a little Labor Day weekend, shall we? Yep, Monday is Labor Day, but it doesn't sound like many people will be going to the movies. The Hollywood Reporter says the Labor Day weekend box office could be the slowest in 25 years. No major movies will be released. Instead, some theaters are trying re-releases or they'll be showing classics to try and lure people in. Overall, the summer box office revenue is way down since last year. 
Instead of movies, people may prefer staying home and watching channels like Netflix, and September is the month of season premieres, so get ready. Variety has the whole list. Think Walking Dead, Season 7, and the last season of The Mindy Project. Oh, and if you're a true detective fan, FYI, HBO just confirmed there will be a Season 3 at some point. And if shopping is your thing, this may be the weekend to do it. CNBC reports some discounts and deals this weekend could even rival Black Friday and Cyber Monday. You know those crazy shopping days after Thanksgiving? The report says things like mattresses and big-ticket appliances may be the best buys this weekend. All right, a few more things people may be talking about today. A video of a Georgia police officer is going viral, and not for a good reason. He's seen on camera saying, quote, we only kill black people. Yeah. The Washington Post reports he'll either be fired or retire. It's just not clear yet which one. It happened during a traffic stop. He said it after a woman wouldn't put her hands down, saying she saw too many videos of cops. The officer's lawyer told CNN he was just trying to de-escalate the situation. This week marked 20 years since Princess Diana died. The AP reports a stream of people paid tribute outside the Kensington Palace in London yesterday. Drugs known on the street as ecstasy or molly could become a medical treatment for PTSD. CBS News says the FDA just granted it breakthrough therapy status. It basically means it'll be easier and faster for clinical trials to test it out. But it's still not FDA approved and you won't find it at your local pharmacy. And that's it. You are all caught up. What an amazing first week of the Newsworthy. I can't thank you enough for listening, reviewing, and sharing this with friends. Week two is coming, but a heads up, since Monday is Labor Day, that means I too will be getting a little R&R with friends and family. So the Newsworthy will be back on Tuesday, September 5th. Until then, you can find links to all of today's stories on thenewsworthy.com forward slash show notes. Don't forget to subscribe, and we will chat again on Tuesday. Have a great weekend.